Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, this is going to be a hot week. Hot, what? spicy week. What? So I got another I got another topic for you. Oh my God. So I was reading on Reddit one day. And oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. I, you have no idea what I'm going to say. I mean, there's some there's some landmines that you can land on on Reddit. So and uh, this is someone be careful. someone had asked the question. Uh, I don't know if it was I don't know if it was on Ask Reddit or what what exact form it was on, but they said uh, the question was, "Do you fall for bad boys, and <laughs> and why?" So there's a. I don't know if we're gonna have too much to say on this topic. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going. I'm going a specific route. So I know. I'm, I know. I'm it's so, a very funny lead in, though. I'm telling okay. you right now. Oh ahead. no, no, no. But you know that that's a common trope is that girls only like bad boys. Blah 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 blah. Sure. Right. Mark Lawrence and Will Smith only. Sure. Moving forward. If why do you think girls are attracted to that sort of guy? Uh. Because I think that they see that as the embodiment of testosterone. Okay. That's like tes so it's about like raw primal urge. Not necessarily. I think that men are attracted to extreme femininity. We want big boobs, big breasts. Uh, same thing. Beautiful face. The same thing. <laughs> Said it twice. <laughs> Uh, he said big boobs, big breasts. I was big like, boobs, big butt. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we want we you know, we want we want everything. We want all the notches turned up to 10. So when it comes to what necessarily is like manliness, yeah, they want the body type, but they also want the attitude. Right, right. The alpha, so to speak. Yeah. So okay. So, so it makes sense. So I, I was reading through the comments and of course it was a lot of BS or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. came across one comment and it put it in a perspective I've never thought about before, and I think this might be the reason right. so the guy said i'm gonna give you the perspective of, of the bad guy here as to why i think good girls choose bad guys from experiences myself <laughs> so he said he could see he said uh it's it's not to fix them it's for the excitement he goes i've dated a lot of girls and my and my guy friends always tell me my type is crazy girls and he goes but the thing is I used to try to try to force myself to change and date steady, but I stopped. He goes, because I'm in that category myself. He goes, I am not a, a decent, well-behaved guy. He's like, he's like, I date married women. I, I do what I want. I don't really care about other people's feelings. Like, I just do what I want to do, right? And what he said was, he goes, I have found there was a lot of women out there who, who are only good and steady because it's what society expects of them. He said, but given a nudge towards being wild and crazy, they can show you a, a totally different side of them. So true. And he said, and that's, he thinks that's what these women are attracted to. They feel so pressured by, to be one way by society, family, and friends. But the bad guy doesn't put any pressure on her. She can be free and wild without judgment from him. So true. And I was like, bruh. Yo, you know what, Jonas? We're gonna turn this into a feminist podcast right now. <laughs> the, <laughs> okay, let's go. We talk about the expectations that are put on society by men. We have to talk about the expectations that are put on society by women, or that are imposed on society, or or imposed on women by society. Yeah. So yeah, you are a hundred percent true. These chicks just these. These bitches ain't loyal, all right? Wow. <laughs> They're not. Lord. They're not. Okay. They never have been. See, Excitement, man. That's what they but seek. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you That's something. That's what we seek too, though. But I'll tell you, I, I have... I have absolutely I, I consider my I do not consider myself a bad boy in any way, shape, or form. No. But I will tell you that I have met girls mm -hmm. that were kind of like not not quite goody two shoes but like we're very cared very much about like what their family thought of them what their friends thought of them things yes. like that and when i met them i i mean i'm not a, i'm not a bad boy but i'm not a goody two shoes either mm -hmm. like you know so like but for me i very much don't show judgment about anything i very much push people to be themselves and like a bit very accepting of whatever 
And like, as they come to recognize that, you see a different side of them. And they'll even tell you like, oh my God, I, I, can't, I can't act like this around my friends or like whatever. And you're like, it, but like, so when I heard that, I was like, that made a lot of sense to me. Like if you give yeah. them the freedom to be who they want to be, they respect you for it because they don't, they feel, they actually feel free because they feel like some, they're oppressed constantly. Yeah. And, and, and it's a hundred percent, that's a hundred percent true. It's a hundred percent true. And it's in, it's in a lot of different facets of life. It's like, uh, the expectations to be a, a mother, like, and honestly, <laughs> There's so much I could go off into, but honestly, a lot of a lot of younger people aren't having kids anymore, you know. And there's no, a reason for not. that. There's a reason for that. A lot of uh, it's it's falling out of vogue, man. A lot of people just don't want to have kids anymore, and that's still an expectation that's pushed on people. The uh, expectation to be a wife, to get a good husband, yeah, yeah. You know, or if you're a religious family, the the pressure to like follow the good book and do the yeah. things that the Bible says, and not drink or smoke or have sex or like whatever. But I will say is like for all of the uh, the shortcomings that that men do still have when it comes to a lot in this country. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I still say that it is very difficult for women. When it comes to the expectations on how a woman is supposed to act, what a woman is supposed to do, um, expectations in the home, men, we got a lot more wiggle room yeah. with what we Our can do. Our expectations come from expectations to be strong, provide support, like, like, oh, you got a problem? Suck it up, bitch. Go to work and provide for your family. Yeah, make like, money. Make money is, right, is a big right. one. It's a different. It's a different side of the coin. Yeah, but yeah. but well, this is a prime example like that. It's like if if like if you're a woman and you talk about how you bang fifty dudes, you're a slut. If you're a guy and you talk about how you bang fifty women, people are like, oh, you're a you're look at that pimp, like whatever. Yeah. Same thing. But if you're a guy, <laughs> if you're a guy and your wife goes and has a six figure job and you take care of the kids at home. You're like, well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like, they, they look at you the same like, way, right? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Yeah, like it's it's just interesting. Like I had never heard that perspective before, and I was like, I think that's really it. It's yeah. not that you have to be wild and take them out on motorcycles and treat them like crap and all that stuff. It's like give them the space to be who they can't be with other people. Okay, I see the way you're looking at it. I see the way you're looking at it. Okay, I didn't. Okay, so what you're saying is that if you provide, whoa, so this is just like a, this is Andrew Tate pimping ain't easy type. Is how it? To, how provided to, provided a judgment free space for them to be who they want to be. <laughs> That's Andrew Tate stuff. I don't understand how this is. How do we get to Andrew Tate? That's. Uh, can you help me connect the dots real quick? I thought we were talking about manipulating women, which no. is technically we are. Giving them the space to be who they want to be is not manipulation. When does it turn into manipulation? When you're consciously doing it or when you're doing I it because it's your nature? I don't understand how it's manipulation at all. When does it become manipulation? When you're consciously doing it or when you're doing it because it is your nature? When you're doing it for your gain and not theirs. Are you doing it for your gain in this situation? Does no. it not gain you favor, whether it be sexual or plutonic? When yeah, but you're not. But like, it, like putting, making them perform on cam for money is 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 just. <laughs> I'm not saying is that we're Andrew but, Tate. I'm just saying is that when does it become manipulation? We're getting into a different spectrum of questioning. Here. Okay, so, so becomes, I feel like it becomes manipulation when you do it for a conscious reason, whether it be to just get a smile out of them, that's manipulation. Like I can tell somebody they're having a nice day. I still feel like that's manipulation in some way because I got them to smile a little bit. I made them happy. Plus they think better of me. Boom. It is what it Social is. Social engineering. It, it is what it is. I mean, but isn't that all of life? To a certain degree, yes. And I, it is kind of a sad way to look at things, but yeah. yeah I even had a, a guy degree, at yes. work today be like, he goes, man, I know we're kind of a pain in the butt, but I appreciate you always having a smile on your face when you're helping us out. Oh. And I, and like, see, but you don't, you don't do it with intention. You do it because that's just who you are. Yeah. Yeah. But, but so, am, so that, does it not? Sometimes am I not like, damn, what I, you know, because like, it's a pain in the ass, but like, but I guess I, all, but you're always projecting out like, Hey yeah. man, it's good. Like it's my job. Like I ain't going to like, but I am, but, but a part of me is happy to help them out because that's what my job is right like but it's it's just interesting because like yeah you're i could be doing the same thing and just be all like smug or like whatever or not even, even just neutral blank face stoic and they'll be like 
is he cool? Is he mad? Like, what is, you know, like, <laughs> but you come out with good energy. People are like, oh, yeah, I appreciate you, like, having good energy about yeah. this, like, or whatever, right? I, I so, like putting out good energy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, but no, like, I just n never thought about it like that. And it's like, but I see what you're saying. Like, if you give people the space to be who they, who, who they are not, right? Yeah. At what point do they cross over what they really want to be? I feel like when it becomes an inconvenience for me, it's that point. <laughs> right. Well, but but I mean, but I guess like, but I guess like, say you're say you're the good girl yeah, who yeah, has yeah. like come, come from like the prototypical like above average wealth family. Da 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 da. You get with a bad boy. He lets you like live the wild side. You can be a little slutty. You can like you can like you yeah. go out drinking. You ride the motorcycle. Yeah. But then like. But then, like, at what point do you cross the boundary of where you think you want to be? And then you're, like, you're just sucked into the lifestyle. Oh. Like, where is – and who's driving? Is the bad boy pushing you farther than you want to go? Yeah. Or are you testing your own limits? See, and Like, I, and where do you fall – where does that fall? And, and see, and this is the thing. This is why women always date the bad boys, but they never marry the bad boys. Or they transform the bad boy into – the, uh, uh, um, no, quote unquote normal dude yeah, yeah. and it's, it's because you can't live that life forever man you can't do that forever you i like even even the the bad girl i guess yeah, yeah there's bad, I, I mean there's bad yeah bad girls yeah. yeah they can't live that lifestyle forever either you know right yeah every every girl like every girl that i know that was like they're always super fun the party girl they want to yeah. go out they have a good time they're mm. fun as hell yeah it it's, ends up bad either yeah. they keep it up way too long and yeah. they end up in a bad spot. Same thing with yeah. the guys, though. You party too hard, yes. you end up in a bad spot. End like, up you go from the cool guy rehab. to the junkie or the whatever, yeah. right? In rehab or in prison. Those are your choices right yep. there. Yep, exactly. So. so, yeah, I mean, it's all, I guess, it's all subjective, I guess. But So, yeah, being a bad boy for a night, two nights a week. Hey, two yo. nights a week. Corporate on Monday, bad boy on Tuesday, P. Diddy on Wednesday. Dead ass, man. Take your girl, take your girl on a bad boy uh, date night for a couple days, man. Go rob a convenience store in Minnesota. <laughs> Stop judging her and let her live her dream up. Yeah, go rob a convenience store. She and must, that's her dream, robbing a convenience store. Yo, you rob a convenience store with your girl. She's gonna love you. You're gonna get the best a, a performance you've ever seen in the sack <laughs> at night, Jonas. All right, that's all for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. T and T. Uh, we are out.